Hello there and welcome again to the workshop. Since I made this video about uh, this new screen set, which actually was developed by Physics Anonymous, I've been inundated by people asking, well, how do you put this into Mac 3? Well, I'll show you. It's really quite easy. Well, first of all, you need to scroll down or go directly to their YouTube uh, channel. Just put in Physics Anonymous. There are uh, a couple of guys that make some really good videos, actually. And uh, down here, I've actually put their link here to their website where you can d download it directly from them. So we'll go there now. So this is the Physics Anonymous website and this is the screen set that they have uh, developed with others, I believe. Um, so it says here, download the package. Now it comes in a, a zip file. So you'll, when you've downloaded it to your computer, you'll need to unzip it. So let's download it. Now, this is it here, so if you don't have um, a zip file unloader, you can, they've provided one here for you, um, I think you have 30 days use of that, uh, uh, yeah, I think it's WinZip, I'm not really sure, uh, but then you come up to the screen here and you just download into the folder of wherever you, you, you want to. Uh, it'll come into your uh, downloads first of all, then you can move it to wherever you want to. So we'll download it. And you'll see there at the bottom of the screen here, if I move it away, it is actually uh, downloading. And it's completed. So we're going to go here. And show in folder so here it is in my downloads now I'm going to drop out of the screens behind this and I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop I'm going to call this uh, Mark 3 New. About 3.5 actually, because I think that's what it should be called. Um, new. And I'm going to move that into that folder okay and we'll close that down so we're going to reopen this now I think my computer is very busy doing Windows updates actually so hopefully this is going to go okay so if you double click on it okay so once you've unzipped the file, now you can use WinZip or um, 7-Zip, which, you know, I use both of them. The files, when they're open, should be like this. So you have two files. One is a, the bitmap, which is, you know, all the colored buttons and where they are and what have you. And the other file is an interface file. Now, we'll move over to the computer that uh, has Mac 3 in it, running my CNC router, and I'll show you how to put it into Mac 3. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into that screen up there, but I'm going to be working on the computer down here, okay? Okay, so let's insert the flash drive. Open it up, Mac 3 New, and open the opened file. Let's move this over slightly. So what we're going to do is first of all copy this interface file, go into the C drive, Open Max 3 and just come anyway here actually. Uh, it should appear, well actually it's going to rewrite over the file because I've already got it in here. So I'm going to just come here where it doesn't highlight anything, just on this white area. So I'm going to right click and paste. And so it's saying, you know, do you want me to, do you want to rewrite over top of this? Uh, yes, I do. And it's there. So, then come back into here, reopen this again, and that, and the bitmap files copy and then come back to C drive Mac 3 and you see here bitmaps highlight with by left clicking then right click then paste and it's done and you can open this and you'll probably find I have two of these in there somewhere yeah, here and here. Okay, so then you can come out of that. Um, I'm just going to remove the flash drive and plug in the CNC machine because otherwise Mac 3 just won't find the board. So we're going to open and this is the this is the program that I open Mac 3 in. Let's say OK. Now, of course, I already have this installed, so I'm going to revert back to the old standard Mac 3 screen, then come back into this one. So I'll just take the e stop off. So you come up here to view, okay, load screens, then scroll down. So this um, 1024, now that is the standard Mac 3 screen. So I'm just going to go into that and say open. Now this screen will change back to the normal Mac 3 screen and there it is. So it, to enable a new screen that you have loaded into Mac 3, you go into View, Load Screens, and the Physics Anonymous one is here. And there it is. So that is how to load up a new screen set in Mac 3. And I must at this point thank the guys at Physics Anonymous for developing this screen. I think it's probably the best one I have ever come across. And uh, I, I love it. So don't forget, go along to their website. Um, there is a, a, I'll post another link below this uh, video to the download at their website for this screen set and also pop along to their 
uh, YouTube channel because they've got some really good videos on there and an interesting set of videos actually of converting a precision Precision Matthews CNC rotor, which is the very little, the largest one I think that they they make or they sell in the U.S. and it actually is very similar to my large uh, manual mill, which later this year or beginning of next year I will be doing a full conversion to CNC for that. It's about the same size as a Tormac 1100 but very much cheaper <laughs> so please like and subscribe and if you really like what I'm doing you could consider becoming a patron to the channel patron information is down below this video in the video description area and if you want to help the channel but don't like patron or any other way um, there's a, a just about here Underneath the video, there's a, a hat with a dollar sign in. You can buy me a cup of coffee there if you like. So, uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, till the next video, it's bye for now.